Hello, ladies. My name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome back to Medieval Engineers. Today, we have a task at hand. Well, we might make some more penises. Who knows? <laughs> I, yeah, I never know when Jack is going to just throw a penis in your face. But today, we do have a task at hand. We are going to make the world's best premier hotel to stay in for all our medieval guests. Whether you want a pint of ale or a mug of mead, whatever your taste may be, whether you want to bring a wench back into your quarters, we are going to make the best hotel for you and it's going to be called Hotel Nipligort. Which translates roughly to English as Hotel Nipplegard. Now this is no easy undertaking. This is going to be hard. Oh, and that's the point. But we're going to see if we can make it happen. I, I'm going to need like a bird's eye view of a lot of this stuff. So just bear with me if stuff does not go as planned straight away. Yes, yes, good. Got a good base going on. Let me, let me get a closer look. Let me get right in there. Yes. This is looking good so far. It's about to take shape. I am not just an expert medieval engineer. I'm also, I also moonlight as a plastic surgeon. So they kind of go hand in hand sometimes. Um, I'm seeing a bit of a problem. The right one seems to be a bit smaller. Wait, wait, wait. No, oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. The left one is slightly bigger. Because I've heard that. I've heard that the left one is sometimes slightly bigger. You can't have them both perfectly the same size. That's not human. That's that's unrealistic. All the medieval guards would come up and go, I don't want to stay at this place. The, those are like perfectly the same size. That's crazy. And then they'd run out and burn down my whole forest. My beautiful bushy forest. Oh, you go. You guys know what I'm building, right? It's a big pair of boobs. <laughs> I mean, if that wasn't obvious by now, I don't know what you're still doing here. Cause this is oh, it's about to get magical. They're gonna be slightly squarey boobs because I can't do them perfectly. I mean. I'm only a man with the tools that I have here in front of me. There's not much I can do otherwise. The epic music is greatly appreciated. Oh no, get down out of that. It makes me feel like I am actually building something super majestic. Well, I mean they are. They're, 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 they're amazing. Now we go up. We're almost at the final stage. This is gonna take me fucking forever to build. You get out of my face. Shit. I, I fucking, there's no middle block. How am I supposed to have a nipple? That's like off to the side. That does not look good. Are you serious? Do we have anything that kind of looks like a nipple? Uh, we could put these on it, I guess. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, no, I want something. I mean, the balls kind of look, but they don't just sit there. Shit! There's no middle block in this one either. Are you fucking serious? They do not look like boobs. They look like nothing. They look. Well, uh, they're okay. I mean, they're the best I can do. I mean, I'm working with blocks. I'm working with squares. Boobs are supposed to be curvaceous and soft and round. What, what am I supposed to do? Is I, if I had a chisel, I could sculpt them out maybe? I mean, from a distance they kind of look okay. If you look from very far away, you squint your eyes so much and you pour lemon in your eyeballs, then they kind of look like boobs. You thought we finished at the boobs? No, what are boobs attached to? They're attached to big bodies. Do I need to build a body? I, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do this. Cause I, I kinda need, like, to be able to see what the frick I'm doing. Oh God, no. Uh, right now I would like to apologize to all of humanity. Uh, specifically women, because that's kind of the body shape that I am portraying with this structure. I mean, what you're about to see might look, not look anatomically correct. It might not look like a, a real person. But sure, are we all real people at the end of the day? Uh, yeah, some of us are, but this is not. This hotel is gonna need a name as well. I mean, sure, it does have the name Nipligort, which, of course, means Nipplegard again. The, the mighty hotel of Nipplegard. It's amazing. Also, I changed the time of day. This is a custom world now, so it should say day for like really, really long. It only goes to night time for 10%. Um, but she's gonna need a name. I think her name should be Cynthia. Like, oh, we're going to Hotel Nipplegard. Get them into you, Cynthia. Th that kind of thing, yeah. It's all about branding. It's all about advertising and marketing. If it rolls off the tongue, Oh, then you know you got something good. Do you know how the Chinese built the Great Wall and it was like the best wall anybody had ever built and it was an amazing feat of accomplishment for humanity and everybody still wonders at it today and are still mightily impressed. The Great Wall of China got nothing on Cynthia. 
This is going to be a new wonder of the world. They're gonna have to add- This is gonna take over like all seven slots for wonders of the world. They're gonna have to think up of a new list for so, for all those other things. This is gonna take- I, I can only bring her legs as far as here. Because the fuck trees are in the way. Maybe it'll act as like her big hairy feet. Will it? Oh god, are you taking shape? Oh, you just look like a big frowny face with stupid eyes! The leg bone's connected to the shoulder bone, the shoulder bone's connected to the ass bone, the ass bone's connected to the head bone, and that's a natural law! I don't think that was the song. Now, we're, we're just doing a bit of final touch-ups on the eyes. They gotta be perfect. Eyes, it's the same with drawing. Eyes are always the hardest part to do, but I think I'm pretty good at them now. I think these are perfectly symmetrical. I mean, if you don't think that these look symmetrical, there's something wrong with your eyes. You you probably should go get them checked. You're gonna have eyelashes as well, cause you're a female. You gotta look, you gotta look pretty. Otherwise nobody's gonna stay inside you. <laughs> she looks so pretty, so beautiful. <laughs> Oh, what have I done? I think I might have to put torches in your eyes or something though. Because when it comes to nighttime, people are gonna have to see the beacon. Or oh, I got the best idea. You know, you're fuck, I can't see my mouse. Yes. Oh yes. You are going to be a fiery redhead. Who think that's a good idea? But uh, Jack does! I do! That's ah, an amazing idea! Cynthia! Cynthia, she's a really cool dancer. Cynthia, boogie did a groove now. That music is amazing. I feel like I'm building a monolith to society, an affront to God. Laugh in their faces when they said you could never build the world's best premier hotel shaped like a woman. Laugh at them, laugh at them, and watch them weep. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking happy. <laughs> the fact- I'm glad I didn't make everything perfectly symmetrical or proper either because the fact that it's all messed up looking is even better. Um, we're gonna give you like little fiery eyes just so you, they stand out a bit at night time. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to do this because I didn't know what the hell I was gonna do in the next episode. I didn't want to just build another normal house. Oh yes. <laughs> Fiery nipples! Do you know why? Because they're so twisty fresh! Only Cynthia could have fiery nipples! Oh yes, she's taking shape! <laughs> Let's see it from above. I give her a little belly button as well. <laughs> you're so not the good sh You're so not a good shape at all! You're way off! I didn't give her arms! Fuck the arms, she doesn't need arms. And you decide to stay at a hotel this year. When you're coming home for family for Christmas, make it Hotel Niepligort. Come visit Cynthia and her big giant booby rooms and you will have an experience like none other. Going now at a special rate of 12, 9, or actually, no, our, sp oh crap. our special rate is um, 8, 8,000, 80,085 $80, Put down 80,085 and you'll see what I mean. Cynthia doesn't hurt, Cynthia doesn't bite, unless you want her to. Haha, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, Cynthia will treat you nicely. You'll have a warm, cozy, buzzy stay at the Hotel Niepligort. Call now for a special discount offer. Call 1-800-BOOBIES. Okay, that sunshine is mad high in the sky. Why does it look like it's freaking nighttime right now? You stop that game! It can't be nighttime and daytime at the same time! Those two don't coalesce! That's fine because nighttime at Hotel Niepligort really starts to get rambunctious. That's when the crazies come out and things start to kick off to an extreme extent. Are other hotels not meeting your nipply, boobalicious needs? Well, say no more than Hotel Niepligort, otherwise known as Cynthia. To order now, 1 800 boobies, and use the special discount code, get them into you, Cynthia, and you could have your very own boob room to stay in for the night. Cozy, warm, just like being back as a child. You know, like breastfeeding. Show us that smile, Cynthia. Yes, show off your beautiful pearly whites. If any of your names out there are Cynthia, by the way, you you're, have a big honor right now. You have massive shoes to fill, quite literally. The, the hotel size shoes. 
This is, this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. This is amazing. I'm so happy that this is something that's happening right now. That's not creepy at all. Hello, children. Come stay inside me. Wow. It's a whole big world out there. Someone, somewhere out there, is building their own Cynthia. Somebody is making more nipples. The boobs shall live on, but none of them will be as good as my Cynthia. There's just something creepy about that music. And what you can see on screen. I, I put fire all the way down along her, so you can see it better in the dark, because for some reason it's not getting bright again. It just went to nighttime and stayed at nighttime and it won't get any brighter. And I can't change worlds or anything, or all this will disappear. So I had to just like, light her all up, all the way around. You see like a little bit belly button there. <laughs> the boobs are off center and it's pissing me off. I mean, I don't have the, the wherewithal to do it, but anyway, I can show you guys what the rooms look like now. You can come in, and for a special, limited time only, you can get one room for the price of two. Just call 1-800-BOOBIES and use the hashtag CindyNipples, and you get everything you want. But look, it's so nice and bright, and we got tables, and chairs, and beds. I mean, I know the fire is very close to the beds, but like, if you're sleeping in this bed, you'll have nice and toasty warm feet at night time. It's gonna be great! I mean, people back then, I mean, people in this time period, we don't care about timber getting set on fire. We just say YOLO and all that. And if big boobs are not your thing, I mean, that's fine. Not everybody's into big boobs. Me, personally, there is a- there is a limit when they get too big. So if you are into the more- the more subtle, the little boobs, you can come on over to room number two. Less beds, less tables and chairs, the same layout, it's still a boob. But it's just smaller, it's more manageable, it's more hand-sized. Let's give Cynthia a big smooch. Mm, uh, slow it on down! Uh, mwah, yeah! Are you serious? Th this was here all that time? I could've just fucking changed the time of day myself? Are you serious? <laughs> God damn it! Yeah! You're less impressive during the daytime, because the flames aren't on, but you're done, I guess. <laughs> Yay! Remember, if you want to stay in Hotel Nipligort, also known as Cynthia, get it into ya, call 1-800-BOOBIES and you can get a special two-time offer. That's right, that's two for the price of one, like two big twisty fresh nipples, and use the hashtag code boobies. And how else would you enter Cynthia except through her legs? Oh, ow. There we go, through her legs, yay! I'm, I'm so mature. <laughs> this is fun. If only I had vegetation blocks that I could put down or like move the trees and put them all down along here. I mean, for cover and camouflage when you're entering the place, of course, not for anything else. Okay, that does it for this episode of Medieval Engineers. I hope you all learned something today about how to make big giant stone women, especially anatomically correct and very proportional uh, stone women, because God knows I can't fucking do it. Oh God, no. No, don't get rid of fly mode. I mean, look at it. Her boobs are off center. She has no arms. She's super wide. Her head is tiny and her legs aren't even finished. I mean, but I tried my best with what I have. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face. Oh my god, boys. And high fives all around. But thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes. Do you want to hire the Grim Reaper? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Wait, then he has hired a new employee. Grim Reaper will arrive for his first shift the next time the store is open. <laughs> they will be singing songs, writing stories, and telling tales about Cynthia for years to come. Probably because of what a monstrosity she is.